we're seeing how we can handle e-invoice with our invoice and creditor function. Uh, next, I would like to showcase how to do it with our Casio. So sometimes uh, you might create a adapter that is called Casio, which is generally used for any customer that walks in to purchase your item. All right. So in this case, to uh, handle e-invoice, uh, we actually added a new property called Casio adapter over here. So if you have any customer, sorry, any adapter that is used for such purpose, you can tick on this Casio adapter to tell the system that this particular adapter is used generally for multiple customer. Okay, so we save these properties. So why do we need this is because sometimes uh, a walk-in customer might request e emails from you, sometimes doesn't. So with this, we can do something that I would like to show you in the next few minutes. Right, so let's create a new Casio. So for example, when I choose this Casio customer, so someone actually buy a phone from me, sell me, okay? So I can just click cash, I pay, and save it. So for this transaction, there is no e-invoice involved. Why? Because we actually does not has any T number provided. So the uh, transaction will be saved and without submit to e-invoice. And this transaction will later on be included for the uh, consolidated e-invoice calculation. So what if the customer requested e-invoice from you? So take for example, this is the uh, another customer, cash sales. Okay, so I will just choose Again, another, uh, maybe this flip phone, Xiaomi, All right? And if the customer requested for e-invoice, you can easily just tick, uh, sorry, not tick, click on this TIN, it's not specified. You can choose your TIN number, all right? So if this customer is a new customer, you can just click add new to generate, uh, to create their text entity, collect their information and save it. If it's already existed, so for example, uh, I want to, uh, for this person, then I just select the uh, customer, uh, collect the IC number and so on, and I save. So I can just save it, pay, all right, and you can see the e invoice status, there's something uh, show pending over here. So we refresh. And after it's validated, we can check at our My Invoice portal. So this is a cash sale. As you can see, CS001 is not submitted because no tax entity. And CS002 is submitted over here. And the general team will be applied. And the rest of the information is as provided. All right. So uh, this is how you can handle our cash sales, if let's say you have a general adapter that is used for cash sale purpose, please uh, go to the uh, adapter maintenance. Remember to tick the property cash sale adapter so you can make use of such function in your cash sale uh, transactions. All right. And of course, if there's any return in credit note, all right, you can also choose this cash sale uh, adapter the tin is not specified here you can also choose your particular tax entity it is also supported in credit note so this thing is supported in your cash sale and credit note and this is how you manage your cash sale adapter